the years, social media managers have become known to put their own social media presence on the back burner. But with the right tools and processes in place, you can create over 30 pieces of content in 10 minutes. Don't believe me? Then today's video is for you. I will show you exactly how I create over 30 pieces of content within 10 minutes. Now, before we dive in, if any of my social media videos here have helped you in your social media journey, then you can help me out by hitting the subscribe button so that I can create more free content just for you. Hey, my name is Mail and I own a multi six figure social media agency and I now help social media managers do the same. If you're new here, make sure to grab my free roadmap to becoming a six figure social media manager that I will link right here. Now let's get started. The very first thing I do to create over 30 pieces of content is to repurpose video through Opus Clips. Opus Clips is an AI powered video repurposing tool that allows you to repurpose any long form video content and it will turn it into reels, shorts, TikToks, you name it, so that you can use it for social social media and it takes absolutely no effort. So I'm going to walk you through the exact process on how I do this. So as you guys know, on a weekly basis, I post my YouTube videos to share content with you guys. Now, here is one of my YouTube videos and I can simply hit the share button and I copy the link of this video and I now head over to Opus Clip where again, I can drop a YouTube link, a Rumble link, Google Drive link, a Zoom link. You can even add a downloaded video. So if there's no link to the video that you have on file, and you can simply drag and drop it here. In this case, I am using a YouTube link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to generate clips for me. Now, here's something you have to realize is that prior to uploading the videos in the Opus settings, I can choose a brand font. And these are brand settings that I can set prior to even putting it in here. So I don't have to worry about the captions looking off brand. I don't have to worry about the nitty gritty details because I've already set my branding in this software itself, right? So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for Opus to get my video ready and it will actually send me an email link and let me know when my clips are ready. And then here's what that looks like. So it will give me all these clips based on my YouTube video. Their AI will get the best clips, highlights from the video. And you can see here, it even gives you a score. So it will, based on the hook, based on how engaging the clip is, it will tell you which are the best clips. But as you can see here, it has generated 11 clips out of just one video. Now it totally depends on how long the video is. This is a YouTube video around 10 or 15 minutes, but I've used this on an Instagram live before. Those I usually download once I complete an Instagram live and they're usually 30 to 40 minutes sometimes, and they will generate even 30 plus clips in just one sitting. But of course we don't want it to be all video, right? But this is just to show you how many clips you can get. Now inside of Opus, you can check out, you see this completely on brand, but you can even edit the clip. So if you want to change anything about the clip, want it to end earlier or start earlier, you can do this all inside of Opus. It has saved me and my team so much time. So right now we already have 11 posts that we can go ahead and schedule into a scheduler. So I'm going to download these and bring them into Clouds Campaign. My preference right now for scheduling. So I'm gonna take it in here upload a video for Instagram. And what I will also say, usually with videos like these, the whole purpose behind it is to drive people to YouTube, right? I want people to watch the full video. And so the caption is usually not that long. I use a couple of lines where I mention the topic. Sometimes I will even copy and paste the description that's already on my YouTube video. And I will let them know, hey, comment below if you wanna see the full video and I will send you the link. So it's really easy for me to generate 11 posts just like that and schedule them into a scheduler. And if you follow me on any of my social platforms, then you know I use these videos all the time. You can find them anywhere from Instagram to LinkedIn on my feed. 
Okay, now if you want to try Opus Clip for yourself and see what it's all about, then I'll drop their link in the description below so you can see exactly how it works and how I use them here today. Now, the second thing I do to create over 30 pieces of content is to turn my YouTube videos into tags. Now, I know what you're thinking. We cannot just rely on video alone. And I completely agree with you. A well-rounded strategy has more than just video clips like we just generated, right? So what I do is I use AL Rides where I can turn my YouTube videos or any video of that matter into text. So here's exactly what that looks like. I am going to walk you through this. It will technically turn a video into a blog even better, but you can use this information in so many different ways. And I'm going to show you right now. So I head over to AL Rides, AI, where you can see I've done this already with other YouTube videos. I'm gonna show you exactly what that would look like with the current video we just did, import from YouTube. I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm going to let AL Ride do its thing. So it will already give you a transcription right off the bat. That looks great. I'm going to hit save. It comes up with a title for the blog, technically, right? And then I'm going to hit generate. Now, the great thing about AL Write is that it will generate a piece of the writing in the blog at a time. So it won't give you everything right away. It will give you piece by piece. So here you can see it gives me an introduction and the points so that I can look over it because we know AI is not perfect. I can make any changes before I go ahead. A free template. This all looks good so far. And this is how to create a social media proposal and the things you need. So I keep hitting generate until the full article is there. And it will talk exactly about what you need to include in a proposal. And the best part about using this type of AI is that it takes my exact words because it's transcribing my video. So it's not necessarily making things up, right? It's all based on me and my content. And so here now you can see that it's almost done. It looks like all the things I talk about, timeline, measuring success, why work with us, and the conclusion. So I'm now done with a blog post. Now, I personally don't have a blog at the moment, but what I do use it for is I head over to LinkedIn. And if you're any familiar with LinkedIn at all, you can create blogs and articles right here on LinkedIn, where I actually drag and drop my thumbnails. And I can show you an example here. I drag and drop my thumbnails and I post articles on LinkedIn. So here you can see these are all my YouTube thumbnails and my YouTube videos that I transcribe into articles. And it cost me, as you can see, maybe a couple minutes, right? It cost me very low effort. And people can comment on here. As you can see, they do, they comment, they like it, and they can see other articles that I write. But this is all based on my YouTube video. I even link my YouTube video in the article for LinkedIn. And again, so that creates for me, as I create weekly YouTube videos, that's for blog articles and for LinkedIn specifically, that's for extra social media posts. And we are now at 15 social media posts. We're already halfway there and this cost us literally no effort, right? And so the best part about blogs is this is really my stepping stone for point three that I'm going to get into with you right now. Another thing is with articles on LinkedIn specifically, they're great for SEO. We do a lot of PR articles and making sure our search is up to date. So this is something you want to take into consideration if you haven't explored LinkedIn yet. Now, if you want to know exactly how I plan out my content calendar, I do have a video on that as well that you can check out right here. The next thing I do to create over 30 pieces of content is to repurpose my blogs that I just created in point two and turn them into carousels and content. Now, what easier way to create social media snippets and bytes based on blog posts, right? So while you may have not ever started out from a blog post, since I don't even have a blog, I am now turning that content into carousels. And I do this on my Instagram all the time. You probably don't even notice it, but this is just content that comes exactly off my videos. So just to give you an example here. So I have templates that are professionally designed uh, in Canva by our designer. And so I don't have to redesign any of my content. I just need to add the information, the text. And so this is perfect for the AL Write tool, because what I'm going to do is this is going to be my cover page, how to create a social media management proposal. I don't need all the text from the blog post, but the most important stuff. So right here, I would say that would be this. And of course, there's a lot of text right now, so I can cut it a little bit. 
this is to clarify when do you have a social media proposal, right? I'm gonna split up the text so again it's not too big and make it fit. So there's that. And I'm gonna do the rest of the carousel just like that. All I do is copy and paste. So summary of the client, right? I'm just doing this real fast to keep up with. I'm trying to stick to the 10 minutes right here. So I'm just gonna take snippets of this, literally. This is the... And you're going to do this for every slide. So as you can see, the content's already there. All I have to do is create. And you're gonna do the same for the other ones. And again, you can repurpose this as much as you need. Maybe you wanna pull a quote from here and turn it onto a tweet graphic, whatever it may be. You can do as much as you want with the text that you have now generated. So again, when I'm providing lots of information in a carousel, I like to keep the caption short. So that's not gonna cost you a lot of time where you simply mention what you're talking about in the slides and tell people to swipe through, a call to action to work with you, whatever it may be. But because you're already providing so much information, you don't have to go into detail in the caption. So given that, if you just created one carousel for each blog, we now have an extra four posts with one, just one carousel, right? So we're already at 19 posts. Now I do recommend you pulling just quotes. I have lots of quotes on my Instagram and pull them also from the video. Let's say you added four or five more. So you're now at 25 posts, right? Within such little time, you're already at 25 posts. Now the fourth thing I would do to create over 30 pieces of content is to repurpose captions into reels. Now one of the most popular reels at the moment is probably the real text overlay. Having B-roll on having text overlay. Now, I personally do this all the time. It's really easy to do, especially if you look at high performing pieces of content. It's simply what you do is you can go into any caption, let's say here. So I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna say here. The biggest thing you can control on social media platform is to just hit publish, focus on what you can control versus can't control. So I'm gonna say copy. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a reel. See any video content I have here. So any B-roll I have, well, this is a video of me talking, but any reel can go here, any B-roll you have, and you're simply gonna make it a text overlay. So you now have a freaking reel and the messaging is on point because you've already created this piece of content, right? And you're gonna have a short, again, on reels like these, I just do a short caption. We want people to share it, right? So you're just gonna say, just a friendly reminder, share if you agree. Something like that, right? And that is just for one freaking reel. So that takes you a minute, maybe, if that, right? So that is what I would do as the fourth thing. I like to mix these in all the time. They're so easy and highly engaging. People love them. They often do much better than the highly produced reels that I include on Instagram specifically. And so if that would give you, let's say, another five videos like these to mix up the other content we just talked about, you're already at 30 posts. But let's say you do less than that, right? You're coming up around 30 posts right now already. Now, if you're still wondering what the ins and outs of 2024 are for social media management in general, I did a video right before the end of last year that you must check out to make sure you're up to date. Check it out here. Now, the fifth and final thing to create over 30 pieces of content is repurpose high performing posts. Now, I actually, even when I say repurpose, I really mean repost. I do this all the time. I mean, all the time, literally same caption, same content and literally repost it. I only do this with my high performers because they are proven to already perform. So literally I will go into my Instagram, screenshot old post, copy and paste a caption and just hit repost, just publish it again. Now I know what you're thinking. The first thing people think like, oh, but what if someone notices? Like, don't I need to change anything? Like I personally don't, but depending on how high your posting frequency is, you want to wait maybe a couple of weeks before you do this. So obviously you don't want the same post in the exact nine tiles grid on Instagram, right? So you do want to have some time in between, but remember only 10% of your followers will see your content, if that, and even 
even if people see it for a second time, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's like reading a book for the second time or watching a movie for a second time. You will learn different things. And honestly, I know a lot of other people do this too, but I personally don't even really notice because we don't pay that close attention to other people's content, or at least we shouldn't. Now this wraps up my video on how to create 30 pieces of content within just 10 minutes. And I think we did make it within 10 minutes. Now, of course, this is not a race on the sooner, the faster, the better, but it's just to showcase and share a message with you that you don't have to put your own content on the back burner. And even for clients, you really have to learn how to work smarter and not harder so that you can show up for your business as well as your clients, right? It's so, so important for you to treat yourself as one of your clients and to be able to show up effectively and you know increase your productivity. And tools like AI and for you to have a proper process in place to do that is so, so important. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Again, if any of my videos have ever helped you, it would really help me out if you could subscribe to my channel so that I can create more free content just for you.